What's good, everybody? I'm at work. About to do some little work at work. Um, about to do a little keyboard swap for a friend of mine. Um, you're looking at, uh, well, what was that? Just came in today. Oh no, last week, I believe. You're looking at a uh, Asus K50i. See it. Focus. It's pretty simple. <clears throat> Probably do it with like a safety, no, not a safety pin, like a paper clip. Kind of fashion paper clip. It's a bit of a tool. So it would be handy to have uh, another tool on hand. Kind of like maybe like a Swiss Army knife or a flathead, small skinny flathead of some sort. <clears throat> Funny thing is I showed Raymond how to do this. <sighs> Crazy. That's it. Hopefully this doesn't mess with my camera. <clears throat> Replacement. It's hard to scream back so you don't scratch the screen. But you got these four little tabs. Right in here. When you get close up, you can see them a lot better, of course. But, you know, basically the key is to just push those little tabs in, one by one. You can actually slide your safety or your paper clip right under there. Should give just a little bit. <clears throat> As you move along, you just push each one back towards the screen. It should give. See? The further you get, the easier it gets. That should remove your uh, keyboard for you. Careful though, because you have a ribbon cable in the back of it. You have to make sure that you don't rip that off. Um, using the same tool, some kind of flathead, you got a clip here that holds that ribbon cable in. All you got to do is slide the clip off of the cable, push it back just a little bit, not too much, and you'll feel it give. And at that point, you just pull your ribbon cable out, exposing your ribbon cable. Keep in mind how your ribbon cable goes. Um, in this case, ribbon cable is blue side up plugged in. All these need a touch when you put that back in there. So since this is your bad one, make sure we don't get that mixed up. This one's actually a little bit different. It's got some blue accents on it. It's pretty cool. He was asking for red, but fuck red. He needs to get over it. <laughs> Same thing. Y'all see what the deal is. So we're going to try this. Try to match it up as much as possible, of course. Okay, so that's how that works. So you're going to plug it in and fold it accordingly once you get that plugged in. But basically, you're going to slide that ribbon cable into the black part where that little clamp was. It should be fairly easy. Should be fairly easy. So try and make sure that you don't rip your ribbon cable. Slide it all the way in until it locks in. Get your tool, tool, and slide that clip back in. Side to side. Make sure you don't hurt your cable or pluck your board because you can really mess it up right here. You put it back in. Make sure you fold your cable accordingly. So it doesn't bundle up. Make sure you put the back side in first. And the rest of it should just pop into place. Slight pressure. You feel each thing lock in. And 
then you have a keyboard swap Acer or excuse me Asus uh, K50i. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, hit me up, Tony Vontes. Bye bye.